Welcome. I'm Patrick Harris, the curator of the Old Aurora Colony Museum. We are sponsoring this weekend the Antique Spinning Wheel Showcase. It is the 32nd annual uh, Antique Spinning Wheel Showcase, and it features the Aurora Hand Spinners Guild actually spinning on original and antique spinning wheels, wheels that were made before 1900. So come on in and let's meet some of the spinners, see how they perform their, their craft, and get to talk with them and, and, and learn a lot more about spinning and weaving. I started knitting when I was about seven years old and I started spinning about 14 years ago. I spin wool and silk and alpaca and cotton and I have a farm now with where I raise sheep and yaks and I use their fibers in the spinning. This is a, a chair style castle wheel. It was built in upstate New York in about 1830 and it's a unique wheel. There's only three or four of them left but it's signed by the maker who was from a family of wheel makers from Connecticut, but he married a woman from New York, so he moved to New York and that's where he made wheels. And it's, a, it's an accelerator wheel, which means it has two different drive wheels, one and a big one that drives the little one, and then it kind of gears up the speed as if it were a bicycle gear or something like that. I started spinning a little over 20 years ago and I mostly spin wool but I also spin silk. Um, the only time I really spin flax is for demonstration purposes. Um, it's great to weave with. It can be knitted but it's not my favorite fiber. I like a good fine wool and a little more luxurious hand to it. This is a Saxony style double flyer wheel. It makes two threads at the same time. Um, they were a, popular around 1830 through 1850 and they were generally people think they're gossip wheels with two people spinning on them at the same time but there really isn't enough room to have two people working here uh, research shows that they were set up as poverty wheels and subsistence wheels and women in the poorhouses were forced to spin on them to increase the linen product productivity um, I, I really like it. It's, uh, it's one of my, my few skills is I can spin two threads at one time. I have two that are a vertical style wheel, more of a castle style, and I didn't even know they came in the Saxony flavor and had to have one so I started searching for it. And this one came from South Carolina in pieces and uh, the, the drive wheel was all broken and I got that all repaired and she spins really well now. Um, we're thinking originally it was a German wheel um, based on the shape of the flyers which are uh, a V shape here and it's got uh, a threaded shaft here held with a, a wooden nut and we're guessing the age is somewhere around 1860 to 1880 and that the wood is probably beech wood but that hasn't been verified it's just a, a educated guess. Did you get my email to send it to the office? And so I'm so tired of you. 
I first learned to spin uh, in 1972, and I learned in New York City. We went to a, a spinning and natural dye class, and we used mostly wool to start with. And uh, I still like to spin with wool. I spin with everything, though. I have spun with linen, I have cotton, alpaca, llama, all kinds of sheep, wool, mohair, that sort of thing. But I still find myself going back to wool. It's a nice fiber. I found this wheel at the large antique sale out at the Expo Center um, back in the mid-90s. And um, I said, if I had a wheel like that, I could be in the Antique Spinning Wheel Showcase. So I bought it and I started entering the showcase the next year. Yeah, so mid-90s. Mm -hmm. This is called a, a Saxony-style wheel. Uh, it's called a courting wheel. And it gets the name courting wheel because it was probably made by a man for his intended bride. To, sh to demonstrate his prowess in woodworking. And we hope the prowess went beyond that, but you never know. <laughs> and uh, it's probably from the mid-1800s, probably European. And it's touched with little ivory finials and uh, very decorative, but it spins really well too. I think everybody should learn to spin because we have a lot of fun. <laughs> we love to cook, we love to eat, and we love to have get-togethers. And I would encourage anybody who might be watching to come and join us. I hope you enjoyed the Antique Spinning Wheel Showcase, and I would like to invite you to come to the Old Aurora Colony Museum for a variety of other tours and special events throughout the year. All of this information can be checked out on our website, which is auroracolony.org. Thank you.